Sergio Perez's 2023 form has witnessed its ups and downs, but after the Miami Grand Prix, it seems like we've been seeing one of the worst versions that the veteran could have provided to the fans in Red Bull. Five consecutive dropouts from Q3, having only one podium finish more than Alonso and three more than Hamilton, and being only 33 points ahead of P3 in the Drivers' Championship, goes to show that Red Bull will definitely have a worry on their hands sooner rather than later, as they sent out a fierce warning to Perez's future in the team. With how good Lawson is performing in AlphaTauri, as well as Ricardo and Norris being available from 2025 onwards, topped with the negative comments from Marco about Perez, there are a lot of indications that he will be replaced even earlier than 2025. The 2023 season started the way that Perez would have wanted it to start. Two race wins out of four races and only six points deficit compared to his teammate Verstappen heading into the Miami Grand Prix. This was the race that caused the red flag from Charles Leclerc during the last qualifying session. And at the moment, Perez was on provisional pole while his teammate Verstappen was at P9. Many have dubbed this race to be the championship changing one, and while they were thinking about Perez making noise for the remainder of the season, it turned out the other way around, as Verstappen's dominant drive has absolutely shattered Perez's championship hopes. From that race onwards, it was only a downhill for the veteran driver, and he failed to reach Q3 in five events while managing to climb to the podium in Austria only. But it wasn't the missing out on pace and the slump of form that worried Red Bull as much as the crashes in which Perez participated, such as the ones in Monaco and in FP1 during the Hungarian Grand Prix. It seemed like the Mexican driver was not able to keep it all on track and was feeling the looming pressure from Daniel Ricciardo, who was signed to replace De Vries from the Hungarian Grand Prix onwards, the exact race in which Perez struggled to perform from the top of the bat. While Horner has strongly defended his second driver and said that the team is standing behind him for the upcoming season in 2024, it seems like this is just a political statement that Red Bull makes here and there in order to keep the media calm. After all, it was this exact statement that they had on Nick De Vries a couple of days before sacking him and elaborating that there was no point in waiting two or three more races when it couldn't have changed anything. The harsh environment at Red Bull has only one philosophy, with which you can either make it or fail. If you don't bring points and the results to the team, then you're as good as gone. While Perez is holding the second seat in the Drivers' Championship, which shouldn't come as a surprise considering the fact that his teammate won races with 30 seconds of an advantage, the advantage to Hamilton in P3 is a very slim one and also one that could easily go down the drain in the remainder of the six races in 2023. Many fans were quick to defend Perez and stated that if you were to look outside of Verstappen, then the Drivers' Championship looks very packed up. And while the Dutchman is absolutely in a league of his own, it could very well be the case that once a team settles for a dominant era, there are rarely two drivers who fight for the championship up close. That was the case with Rosberg and Hamilton from 2014 to 2016, and it certainly was the case in the first couple of years between Vettel and Weber. But now it's definitely something that we're very unlikely to witness. Partly because Perez has lost the confidence to deliver the results that we expected after what we saw in Baku and Jeddah and part because he might be replaced during the middle of the 2024 season. Perez is an integral part of Red Bull's success regarding the Constructors' Championship, but if we had to take him out of the picture, then the facts are truly eye-opening. Max Verstappen is leading the Constructors' Championship on his own, having a staggering 95-point lead compared to the second-place team in Mercedes, which shouldn't come as a surprise considering that the Dutchman himself had races in which he scored more points alone than the duo of any other team out there due to the volatility of the grid beneath him. Therefore, this puts Red Bull in quite an unusual position. Should you go with Perez for 2024 and beyond, or should you give the opportunity to any other driver out there who is desperately trying to prove that they're made out of F1 cloth? For example, we've seen what Lawson is capable of at the age of 21, beating Sonoda 3-0 in a head-to-head -head race finish, as well as being the highest-ranking AlphaTauri driver in 2023 at P9. We cannot turn a blind eye to the Ricardo signature, one that took a step down because of his hand injury in Zandvoort, and one that opened the door for a potential seat for Lawson. And according to the latest reports, it seems like the Aussie is the leader to replace Perez as early as in the middle of 2024. Helmut Marco has been shy to state that the Mexican driver's contract is expiring at the end of 2024, and there aren't many talks about him continuing the collaboration with the team. And that has been further aggravated by Sergio Perez's father's statements, Antonio, who went on to say that the team is specifically building a car around Verstappen, and the only thing that his son can do is be present in the moment and fight for P2 in the championship. 
But considering the statements that Perez has been making constantly, such as him being capable of winning a championship with Red Bull and never missing an opportunity to say it all over again after a race win or a result that was better than Verstappen, something that we can count as happened on our one hand, it seems like Red Bull would like to save themselves the headaches that Perez would present them if he manages to find a lot of pace in the car all of a sudden. The situation is loud and clear. Although the on-track situation and actions may look like Perez and Verstappen are in the best of relationships, some words cannot be taken back and some actions cannot be undone. Which is why Red Bull might want to go with a safer option for the P2 seat until the new regulations come in 2026. And what better and safer choice than Daniel Ricciardo? After leaving Red Bull back in 2018, it's safe to say that Ricciardo has had his fair share of struggles, but positive moments as well, as he managed to score a couple of podiums for Renault and bring the team back to the top three finishes, as well as become the last McLaren winner in the previous decade after winning the Monza GP in 2021. Still, the Woking-based squad decided that they're not going to continue the collaboration with Ricciardo, buying him out of his contract in 2023. And while he had a lot of opportunities to sign with Williams and Haas, he clearly stated that if he's not racing for a top-tier team, then there's no point of racing at all. After completing Red Bull's tyre test in Silverstone successfully, Ricciardo has managed to win the sympathies of his former team yet again. But they have put him on a mission first bring back AlphaTauri to the midfield and raise the value of the team, and then you'll have a shot at our team as soon as 2025. That was the initial belief, however, and now it seems like Red Bull has shifted the dynamic to as early as 2024 during the mid-season if something were to go wrong with Perez, which is not that far-fetched of a scenario considering how much inconsistency is battled with in the current season. This is something that has been reported by the renowned journalist Lawrence Barreto, who went on to say, Sergio Perez is under pressure at Red Bull, having scored a little over half the number of points his teammate Max Verstappen has mustered. The Mexican trailing by 177 points, despite having what is comfortably the best car in the field. The Red Bull duo is currently holding the largest points difference compared to any other duo out there, which although was to be expected considering the pace that Verstappen is showing race after race, was still not to be anticipated to the amount it has reached with only six races left in the championship. Even if Perez manages to be competitive and finish second in every race until the season ends, with Verstappen more likely than not win all of them, then the results would easily go well over 200 points difference, and that is definitely not a good luck for the veteran driver. What Perez needs to do right now is pick up the pace and deliver strong performances, not just in the remainder of the 2023 season, but in the 2024 as well, if he wants to be considered a strong candidate for the 2025 seat. As of now, the reality of Perez is that he's holding one of the hottest seats in the sport, especially after the rumours came out about Liam Lawson replacing him from 2025 onwards. And this is the only reason that the Kiwi refused a seat with Williams for the next season on a one-year loan. Perez has also opened up about his mental health issues that he has to face after battling Verstappen on the track, saying that it took a massive toll on his mental health and his outside duties as a family man. But now that he's managed to fix all of them, he's ready to come back and have yet another shot at the championship from 2024 onwards. Will this actually happen, or will we see one of the most lovable characters on the grid being mercilessly replaced just so Red Bull can hold on to their promises to the other drivers? Time will tell, but as of now, it seems like the burden that Perez has on his shoulders is very heavy, and it's uncertain as to whether or not he'll be able to balance it out in the foreseeable future.